Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'm continuing with my thank you cards for our emergency services, shop staff, chemists, doctors, whoever you think deserves a thank you card. Um, I will be doing this a few times, so um, I hope you're not bored. I am still using the uh, painted poppy set. This will be the last one in the painted poppy series. Um, here in the UK, a poppy represents remembrance. So sending this to the people who are, you know, doing a service for us at the moment, in emergency times, remembering them, thanking them, you know, it all goes together. So to make this card, I have used, or I am going to use, a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. I have got some, let me just burnish this because I didn't burnish it. I have some Poppy Designer Series paper of 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. On the other side is the green stripes. And I also have a card, a white card of 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths, which we will be cutting. I have already cut out um, leaves and the poppies from the using the dies. These are from the painted poppy dies, and these are from the um, peaceful moment dies. I've got two strips of old olive cardstock, and they will go either side. Here, yeah, just to frame the card once we've cut it. So I've got two strips. These measure oh eight and a quarter by about an inch. Yeah, an inch. These I found in my scrap bin, which have come in handy. Um what else have I got to do? Oh, and of course I'm not making it a happy birthday. I am going to be using the thank you from peaceful moments that that thank you so to get started we need to stamp our poppies let's do that these are the poppies from the last card I made so with that and our memento black we are going to stamp three poppies all the same size Clean that off. And then with, finish with that, I've got a backing from dimensional on that. That's it. Right, I've got three colours for the poppies. I have got Gorgeous Grape, Blackberry Bliss and Rich Raspberry. So I'm going to start my lightest. Ink it up and then just plunk it over the top. There's one. In fact, I did two of them. Different colour. I'm going to go over this one again. Because I actually had two of the same colour. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Ignore that bit. Right. So I'll finish with that one. Then I've got rich raspberry. And I'm just going to Colour that in in rich raspberry. And the other one I did in Highland Heather, and I haven't got that with me. I didn't use blackberry bliss. So, what I'm going to do 
is use gorgeous grape and stamp off. So gorgeous grape, stamp off and stamp on. That's better, it makes it a lighter colour. And then with the dies from um, Painted Poppies, this die, I cut them all out, which I've already done. And they're here. So that's them done. But don't worry, I won't waste these. I am going to make some more thank you cards. So I will use them in that. Get rid of that. Um, that's nearly all our stamping done. Not quite. But I can't do the thank you until I've cut the card. While well, we're done with it. Right. Move them out of the way. Bring in my trimmer. Right, what we're going to do is place this in our trimmer and we want this at half an inch so we want to put one point at half an inch the top at half an inch and the bottom at one and a half inch yeah and we're just going to slice it in half. Take the top piece out. Now then, with the bottom piece, we're going to cut some off. So we're going to put it at half an inch. Leave that at the leave the top bit in the groove, and put the bottom bit at half an inch. And we're going to slice that piece off. So we've got that much of a gap between our card well, that's not enough. Oh that's right, we've got to cut some off the top. Right, with the top piece What I'm going to do is put the top bit in the groove and the bottom piece to the half inch and then slice that off so that will make that like that. I hope you understood that. What you need to do is cut a wedge out of the middle of the card. Put them in the bin and get rid of this. Right. Before we do anything else with this, we need to stamp in old olive with our um Splattered dots. So what I did was I put one piece, stamped it once there, so it was like that, and then this one I did it twice. I did it once that way and once that way. just to give a bit of greenery on the card. And now with our VersaFine and our bottom piece, we're going to stamp the word thank you. And we're going to stamp that just in the middle of the splattered dots. 
like that. Uh, drop the stamp. That's it. Put the lid on that now because we're finished stamping. Right now we need our green pieces and we're going to fit each piece just so there's like an eighth of an inch gap towards the end of this I don't want to go right up because I need to cut it so I am not going to glue all the way down all I'm going to do is glue along the edge and down there so giving it a one eighth not moved it one eighth inch strip along there and you just take your scissors and trim it up like that, that's not enough there still see it it's annoying me that's better so that's one side done and now we have to repeat it on this one and do the same here must have cut that the wrong way or face down so we've got a lip from the um, trimmer. That's better. So do the same here. And place that one eighth of an inch and then trim the card So, now all we got to do then is stick it on this piece of paper. Now I bet you're all saying, oh that's a waste of cardstock and or oh, designer series paper because we're covering most of it. It is, but it's the only way I could think of putting this on evenly. So. Right. Put this on. even as you can there and then to the same with the top end
and then we shall place this on our card front. I've gone down a little bit there, so it's going to be a bit longer here. That's all right. Now this is a Pinterest idea, like my other two. So let me see if I can find the name of the person who I case this from. It is. It's a German name. Papier Colt. Paper Colt. And that's it there on Pinterest. And here it's got Papier, which is paper in German. Colt. I don't know what is paper cut. Don't know what Colt is. But yes, yeah, so that's where I got that idea from. Right, now, place the flowers. We had the light one that way. Oh, they're all on them. Um, they're all on dimensionals. So I'm going to put two on each across the middle. Take the backings off. Right, this one on first. I'm going to put that right in the top corner without going over the edge. Then this one underneath there, and this one there. I'll put all them down without putting the leaves down. So here's the struggle again. Bit of glue, and we're going to lift that up and place that down like that. This one is going to go under there, and then one of these green, yeah. going to go under right under that's it like that and this one I believe I cut I did cut Place these few twigs under there and don't waste these, use them. Just trim them down and place them underneath. Uh, 
Let's take that off. There we are. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. I haven't done nothing inside. I haven't done nothing inside of the other two I've made either. But all I'm going to write in it is thank you for your service. I'm not going to sign it or nothing. Just going to put thank you for your service. So I will show you. Let me get them. There's another poppy one I've done, and there's the first one I've done. So these three cards I have made for my thank you, uh, the poppy, using the poppy set, or painted poppy and, and peaceful moments. And I will make some more of these and I will send them off and thank National Health, whoever I want to thank. It'll be mainly the National Health I'll, I'll thank. So if you like these cards, please subscribe. If you'd like to see more, please press the bell icon and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.